Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have what looks like an awesome reading. I feel like uh, it does, yeah. And so we start the reading though, Capricorn, with the sun of life. And this is the sun in that deck. Uh, and, you know, the sun is shining on this, <clears throat> this man, it looks like. And so here he is, and uh, he's receiving the sunlight. Like this is a restoration for him. Uh, this is about success and happiness and major clarity and joy um, and new beginnings and just creativity and everything very beautiful, the sun of life. And so we have the wild violet. This talks about romance. It does. And uh, could talk about some wild romance, Capricorn. And uh, here's the fairy sitting on the mushroom and she's, you know, looking all cute. And this is... Uh, I feel like whatever this, this relationship, this is talking about, I feel like you're going to have a new romantic, uh, beginning in your life. Yeah. We have the balancing act with it. You know, this can talk about somebody who maybe works too hard and you're, they're supposed to kind of enjoy their life and, you know, uh, stop working so hard because you don't know about tomorrow, right? Here's home sweet home. And the fair, she's a, she's a mermaid here. Uh, and so here she is uh, in this shell. And this is, you are somebody's home sweet home or they are your home sweet home. I feel like this person is going to come home to you. Yeah, we have the rose and the sword. It talks about kind of being flexible between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So here's the sword, which is the masculine and uh, the child. The baby is the feminine, right? And so, you know, this talks about kind of, you know, the yin and the yang, right? Having both qualities here will help. And I feel like this kind of balancing act over here, uh, it's most likely that somebody had some type of an awakening here and they have are beginning or using the rose and the sword both in their lives. Like I'm trusting my intuition in order to manifest and to, you know, create my life path forward, right? And I feel like this balancing act, I feel like they're kind of start beginning to diss it. I feel like they probably are, right? This kind of where they just work all the time and possible somebody's a workaholic here. The simple ripples card, it kind of talks about taking, uh, having courage, right? It can, and uh, in order to, like, once you kind of take a step, you know, something else will show up for you or the path will be easier with these simple ripples. Let's see what they say here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just, let's see, the world will not die for lack of wonders, but for lack of wonder. Any mental clothing prevents contact with life. We are simple ripples on the lake of life. No habit minimally touches that reality. It merely prevents that contact with us. Mm -hmm. Life is not a philosophy. It is not a problem, but a mystery. Your person Capricorn is finding out here that however they have been living has been just kind of definitely not in their favor, not in their favor for joy, happiness, uh, a future and things like that. Yeah. And they, uh, I believe are realizing too, that kind of maybe every step they have taken, you know, kind of affects the future and affects, you know, or every decision they made has like, you know, really kind of got them possibly to where they're at. Life is not a philosophy. It's not a problem, but it's a mystery. You must not live it a following to a scheme or conditioning. Yeah. This person's been conditioned and, you know, maybe they're a workaholic too, but the rose and the sword talks about this flexibility, like break out of your conditioning use your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy, right? And this person has been just using the divine masculine. It does look like that. We have ambition here and here's the man he's running naked. He is, <laughs> and, uh, he looks confused though. Like, uh, am I, you know, trying to jump over this bamboo here, which is some type of goal, but is it really good for me or is it what I kind of really want? The path of the heavens reduces excesses and adds what is lacking. Okay. But the path of men is not like this. They take away from those who have little to give to those who have too much. It just talks about somebody here who has not been connected to their source. And these cards are reflecting this, but I feel like this person is, has been waking up 
and uh, because we have uh, enlightenment over here, yes, we do with the uh, with the the blonde, you know, uh, vampire. I didn't know there was any blonde vampires, but hey, uh, you know, equal opportunity, right? <laughs> I thought they all had dark hair, but uh, this person's uh, waking up, Capricorn. I feel like there are or somebody here. It talks about somebody who wants to just ambition, live their life and have joy and stop worrying about like maybe goals that they have set for themselves or some type of conditioned path that somebody set for them or that they felt like they had to follow, right? Yeah, this is somebody who's breaking out of that. I feel like they are. And so you have Capricorn, the Ace of Pentacles here, which is beautiful. And this is in your corner or what's like supporting you or your strengths. So I believe you have a new beginning coming and I feel like it's a solid one. Uh, let's move the camera now so you can see the, the tarot cards. The high priestess though is here. They're showing the yin and the yang, right? They are very cool. But I feel like you are in mystery about this. Like you're like, well, I don't know if I'm really have this. Here's the six of wands. And this is a victory right here. And the man's posing and, you know, he's sitting there with the lion who's wearing a crown, right? And, uh, mm -hmm. so you're going to have this victory, but I feel like you are in, in, uh, I feel like this is, this reading is kind of telling you this, that it's going to happen for you. And I feel like this up here is your person spread most likely who has been enlightened that the, the road they've been traveling is the wrong one. Yeah. And that they've been maybe doing high jumps, right. For somebody or something, uh, that has not been serving them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, what you need to focus on, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, but this energy in this deck talks about, uh, especially here, uh, what you need to focus on is that somebody's a good person. I feel like maybe you know this about this person, that they're a good person and that you are kind of focusing on that. Could be. Let's get another card and see what they have to say here for what Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles. Well, I mean, this can talk about somebody who kind of, this queen of pentacles has courage in this deck as well. Somebody could have, the, your person might have the courage to be single, could be, uh, because whatever they're trying to break out of here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it could be that somebody wants to break out of some type of conditioned belief system or actually a, a situation, right? Uh, you could, this could be telling you here, what you should be focusing on is that this person will become single for you. It could be, it could also be that this person, uh, is maybe asserting their independence here because here's the nine of pentacles, which is definitely a card of, uh, independence, right? Um, it could be self-sufficiency. Uh, this could be telling you here what you should be focusing on that. They're very sure of themselves. Yeah, could be. This is maybe what you are in mystery about as well, because the high priestess is here. Uh, I feel like definitely, though, that you are the one in this reading who is like trusting their intuition. I feel like as a norm, like as a normal uh, energy. But for this other person, they had to go through an awakening. And here's the tower to prove it. Here's the eye of Horus. And the eye of Horus is actually burning the tower, burning this building, wherever it is, right? And so, uh, in other words, there's a forced change in this reading and the gods or the cosmos are forcing this on this person who is living in some type of, or leaving or realizing that they have been living in some type of prison or conditioning, right? Conditioning is a prison, right? If you've ever kind of read about Pavlov's dogs, right? Mm -hmm. They teach that in psychology 101. I feel like there's so much that is left out. Yeah, there is so much left out uh, in psychology. Uh, or maybe you really have to, uh, if, you're, if you're taking psychology, possibly you have to not just learn what they're teaching you over there at the school. <laughs> but look for your own uh, wisdom. Yeah, because I know I have a psychology, two psychology majors uh and they're both studying for their masters in psychology. And, uh, I mentioned this kind of a, a breakthrough seminar that I went to and, uh, like, you know, what was kind of taught there. And, uh, one of them just kind of raised their eyebrows like, really? Yeah. Well, they haven't taught you much over there at the school. Kind of, I feel like she just kind of did like a, a 
like, wow, really? Yeah, kind of like that. So here, Capricorn, the Four of Cups here, and this is uh, what somebody either needs to leave behind or what they are leaving behind. Could be you, but this Four of Cups in this particular reading, uh, in this deck, right? Yeah, it talks about somebody who is uh, uncertain, somebody who has uncertain feelings here. They could be excited with exuberance as well. Mm -hmm. It could be somebody who's tired. Uh, it's like kind of a mixed energy here. Uh, but maybe you uh, have felt kind of excited, enthused, or exuberant, right? But at tired at the same time. It's possible here. There's a lot of different kind of dynamics uh, in this reading. But this is what you need to leave behind. Uh, and the first thing we talk about here is, or one of the first things, is uncertain feelings. It's also possible here that some that your person has gone through this awakening. We have enlightenment, and this person uh, needs to, is leaving. They c I feel like this is what somebody's already leaving behind these uncertain feelings, because I feel like who you're going to have this Capricorn, the Ace of Pentacles here, but I also feel like there was a forced change here, and this forced change is part of this enlightenment. It is part of somebody's awakening. We have the Four of Swords here. And this is in the near future for you, Capricorn, or your person. Uh, we see these four uh, men who travel to travel, uh, and they're resting in the oasis, right? I'm not sure where the water is, though, right? I thought there was always water in an oasis. Oh, maybe it's over here. <laughs> and so uh, way in the back. And so they left their swords on a carpet in front of them. Yeah, and so he, they put their swords down here. And this is a truce, a calm after a conflict retreat or agreement. I feel like uh, there's going to be some type of a truce here, but there's going to be a conflict here because here's the tower. So this is for you or your person that is going through this. It's whoever, whoever has been enlightened is kind of going to have a conflict with somebody. It's possible somebody's uh, also making a truce with themselves. And what I mean by that is, you know, like saying to like, I'm sorry that I kind of just kind of forgiving themselves for this conditioning and thinking a certain way. It can ruin your life if you continue to live with certain conditioning, right? Yeah, definitely you can. Well, uh, conditioning can be anything. You know, you could have grown up in some type of a, a lack, a lack, lackluster or where there was not enough money. And now you are conditioned to think that your life has to be so hard. Or that, you know, if you go for your passions, you're some type of bad person. I mean, you could be saying that's nuts. People grow up like that. Well, they hear different things and they, you know, even teachers will, you know, yeah, definitely. Uh, you don't know what your kids are listening to all the time, right? And even, you know, I'm just saying conditioning can really kind of <clears throat> have, make a, cause havoc. Here we have the four of pentacles. It's in your advice, Capricorn. And this advice, here's the, the wealthy man, and, you know, he loves this woman here. This talks about uh, this person wants to hold on to you, and they could be wealthy as well. It's really, really what that talks about. The Nine of Cups is in your, in your environment, and this is what I mean while you're going to have, while you're, that you're going to have this. And this is, this couple is here, and they are each other's wish, and this is in your environment. And your, your hopes and fears, Capricorn, is the Three of Cups. And we see this uh, couple here and they are, this is total bliss. And you're hoping to have this with this person. And they are like, they're celebrating here. They have like these cups and they're sitting behind them as the waterfall. And she's in this pose of like complete kind of beauty and happiness and calm and peace. And this is in your hopes and fears. But down here, this is in your environment, this nine of cups. This person loves you. Yeah, and they're, I'd be like, I feel like they're going to come for you, but I feel like there's going to be a forced change in their life, and maybe it is just this awakening, but maybe it is something else that uh, the gods are moving out of their life in order for them to be with you, because this person is the one who is dealing, I believe, with all this conditioning, and I feel like unhappiness. Yeah, so we're going to end the reading, Capricorn. Uh, we are, and uh, it's a beautiful reading. I feel like totally it is. And we're going to have your person spread with a different deck here, with the, with the, uh, the traditional tarot we're going to use. And we're going to have their, uh, their tarot spread, I mean their oracle spread, like we always do, Capricorn. Yeah, and their first card is Enlightenment. 
inspiration, epiphany, and innovation. This person wants to do their life in a whole new way. And crossing them or challenging them here is the hunter. This can talk about aggression. It can talk about seeking what you want in your life. But this is, I believe this is the challenge, uh, the challenge or the supporting energy. We're going to talk about this. Uh, there could be somebody aggressive in their life. It's possible here. Uh, but also this is, you know, them uh, kind of being the hunter. This gets a real deep, this card. We'll talk about it in the other reading. And why it's all happening for your person is transmission, spreading of conditions, influence, and impact. So you might have gave them a cold, Capricorn, but they're okay with it, right? But what this really means is that this person has kind of learned from you or they have been impacted so much here that and influenced by you or by this awakening that this is, uh, they want this with you. Yeah, and they are excited with this inspiration and this is uh, the exuberance that was showing up here, uh, I believe with the Four of Cups. Yeah, mm -hmm. right? This person is excited to come forward. I feel like they are. We're going to end the reading, Capricorn. I really want to see their reading. I feel like they're going through something difficult right now. They're all super affordable. We have the link below. We do. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.